That is CAN bus data, something I've been uh, trying to get working for a while now. This is streaming between two systems, um, two systems which will hopefully form part of uh, Kevin, which is a robot, robotic vehicle I'm working on. This is something I first looked into last year, but uh, I kind of ended up having a lot of uh, problems with this. This is the one of the main kind of control boards. This is going to sit in the, the kind of control, the motor controllers. And the idea was that there'd be uh, possibly half a dozen different systems and they'd all communicate with each other via a CAN bus. I'd originally drawn up a schematic for serial data links and there were dozens of data lines running from all the various different systems. And so it's kind of a, it's a vehicle of sorts. So the CAN bus seemed ideal and it seemed pretty straightforward. But um, after trying the various different things to get it working, um, I failed. It just seemed some really bizarre behavior I couldn't get to the bottom of. But uh, today or this evening, I finally received a, uh, received, um, a, kind of a logic analyzer, kind of data analyzer. And that's allowed me to kind of tap into the kind of data line at various different points. And so, I can kind of map and see exactly what is going on here. So I've been able to look at the uh, data lines that come out of um, the, the main systems, this, the, the kind of systems um, transmit and receive lines. And what I was seeing was this data replicated continually. So if I disconnect one of the uh, data lines, I don't know if this is going to work again, but um, basically what was happening was this data packet here was continually repeated. And so looking at the data sheet or the specification for this, the transceiver, the controller, wasn't receiving an acknowledgement from anything, so it was retrying and retrying and retrying. And so it was flooding the, the data line with this constant transmission of data. And so that, um, it confirms that, that the first side of things was working. So back on the board here, the Arduino talks to kind of the CAN controller chip, and the controller chip then sends out this uh, that logic data that was on the screen to the transceiver. The transceiver then outputs that. And that was, uh, it was working up to this point, so this is kind of monitoring the data line, and that was uh, it's confirmed that that's functioning correctly, which was great. But coming out of the transceiver was a little bit bizarre. And so if I look at the oscilloscope feed here, you should be able to see the waveforms. There's two outputs, there's a high and a low. And so this is what, I was only getting one of these. So on one channel I was getting the signal and on the other channel I was getting nothing. And in the end it turned out to be a faulty transceiver. So I switched out the part and I then started getting data on both lines. So that's confirmation of the, uh, the the kind of controller chip correctly processing it and then the transceiver outputting that kind of high and low signal. And so that's the first half I had confirmed. But it still wasn't making its way through to the second board here, which is just a kind of a quick setup I've got with a, a CAN bus board from SparkFun. And so I had kind of data running to there, but it wasn't uh, getting through. And uh, and in the end, that turned out to be a uh, kind of the termination resistor on the line. This is something I had added a while back, but then I think in various different kind of uh, testing, messing around, it got disconnected or got lost, and that's what was causing the the problem in the end. And so I ended up, ended up having uh, two issues: a broken uh, transceiver, obviously missing the the data line. But I've now got data kind of transferring back and forth between the two devices, which means I can move ahead and get this board finished off and fitted. And so this is the main motor controller. So the this interface is with the servos and the, the motor controllers, which is basically a servo um, connection. And so the main system, whatever, however I want to drive kind of Kevin, whether it be the remote control or um, kind of an autonomous um, uh, kind of vehicle system, it would all go 
through this board here. This would receive the servo data coming in, do some uh, checking and formatting, just to, and then output a signal within the limits of the the actual um, the the motor system right set up. But it would then also listen to signals from the CAN bus, and so it uh, would only it would only kind of output signals if it then received a. Uh, uh, first received an OK signal from a kind of a master control board and so that would then send a signal out to all the other subsystems saying yes you're ready to go and only then would it start relaying signals through. It would also then put data back onto the CAN bus to say I'm still here, I'm still working, there are no problems. But uh, it does mean that this board is now finished and can be um, fitted into Kevin. I may transfer this onto a, try and get a proper PCB made up for this. Um, but I'll kind of fit this as it is, confirm that it is still, or it does actually function as expected, and I can finish off the software. It also means I can start work on some of the other systems and finally get some data flowing around. So it's been a, it's quite annoying. I kind of stopped this project last year and it's been a, a quite a few months, but it's um, so all thanks to this uh, kind of data. A kind of logic analyzer that was able to really confirm that uh, most of the circuit was functioning correctly and really narrow down the problems. And it really helps having the right tools to kind of get to the bottom of problems like these. So hopefully there'll be more updates on this project now that this is up and running. I can move ahead with it.